let's go into dial peer configuration mode for dial peer one and let's give this command let's say direct hyphen inward hyphen dial by saying direct hyphen inward hyphen dial we're preventing two stage dialing we prevent the router from giving a dial tone to an incoming call and we take a look at that incoming dial string and we forward the call based on that so let's place the call again let's go off hook and dial the number again And that time the call goes right through, no problem. And another tip I want to give you about a dial peer is I want you to understand how a dial peer forwards digits out of a POTS port. Here's the interesting rule. When a POTS dial peer is forwarding digits out of a port, by default, the digits that get forwarded out to the PBX or the PSTN or whatever we're connecting to, by default, only the digits that match a wildcard are going to be forwarded. Take a look at this example. I've got a dial peer pointing to a destination pattern of 999. By default, all of those digits would be stripped off. So to overcome that, I've said forward hyphen digits all. That's going to say forward all of those digits. Let me give you another example. Let's take a look at our dial peers again. In this example, I'm using eight digit dialing to get to a local PSTN number. I'm pretending this router is in another country. And notice I'm giving the destination pattern to call out to the local PSTN. I'm saying nine to get an outside line. And then in brackets, I have 2-9, meaning that that second digit after the nine, it can be anywhere in the range of two through nine. And then that's followed with seven other digits. And I've said four digits eight. Let's change that though. Let's get rid of that just to show you the effect. Let's go into dial peer four and I'll say forward hyphen digits default or actually that's default forward hyphen digits so I've taken off the four digits command let's just confirm that let's take a look at our dial peers again and sure enough for dial peer four we no longer have that four digits command let's see what's going to happen when I try to call out to the local PSTN. Let's do a debug ISDN Q931. And my prediction is this is going to work even though I took away the four digits command because remember the rule. The rule says we're only going to four digits that match a wild card. 2-9 that's a wild card. We're saying match any digit in that range. And then we've got the seven dots. Each dot represents one dial digit. Those are all wild cards. So what I'm expecting to happen is the nine is going to be stripped off because it's an explicit match and the remaining eight digits are going to go through. Let's place a call to the local PSTN. I dial a nine to get an outside line, then I dial the local PSTN number. And sure enough, the phone rings. The call went through. Let's take a look at our debug output though. Notice that eight digits were sent as the call to party number. What if we did this? What if we said dial pure voice four and we said forward hyphen digits all. If we did that, what would happen? Let's place the call again. In that case, the call doesn't go through, and we can see why in the debug output on screen, you see the nine is still there. It was not stripped off. How come it worked before when I didn't even have a four digits command? The reason it worked before is because of that POTS dial peer rule that we were talking about. The default is we're going to strip off explicitly matched digits. By default, we only forward digits that match a wild card. So to fix this, we could just say default forward hyphen digits, but as a good practice, I like to be able to look at my config and see exactly how many digits are being forwarded. So I want to say forward hyphen digits eight. And once we do that, we should be able to place the call again. Let's give it a try. And it was successful. And we can see in the debug output on screen, we're only forwarding those eight digits. So to sum up what we've talked about, we said that a dial peer is going to add call routing intelligence to our routers. We're going to have an incoming dial peer, and we're going to have an outgoing dial peer. We had a couple of flavors of dial peers, POTS dial peers and voice over IP dial peers. We saw that when a call was coming into a router, maybe from the PSTN, that router might answer the call with a dial tone. And we saw how to prevent that from happening, how to prevent the two-stage dialing by saying direct hyphen inward hyphen dial 
in dial peer configuration mode for that incoming POTS dial peer. And also, we saw how a POTS dial peer did digit stripping. By default, it is going to strip off any explicitly matched digits, and only wildcard matches are going to be forwarded. We saw how to overcome that with the forward hyphen digits command. At this point in our video series, we've seen analog voice ports, digital voice ports. We know how to influence a call to go out of a voice port. However, can you see that we might need to do some digit manipulation when we do this? For example, when that call was coming in from the PSTN earlier, it might have been coming in with an eight digit dial string, but I'm only using four digits inside of my network. I needed to strip off those leading digits. Or let's say I'm trying to call 2222, as we have on screen, and the WAN is down. Is it possible that I could divert that call over the PSTN as a backup? Yeah, I sure could. But if I sent the call over the PSTN, I don't think 2222 will be enough digits. I think we'll have to add on maybe a 1, maybe an area code, maybe an office code. So when we go an alternate path, that's another reason we might need to add on some digits, do digit manipulation. Digit manipulation, that's going to be the focus of the next video. We'll see you then.